Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we are making our way up to the iron allocation station, mostly just to get the blueprint going for that one. And um, yeah, we're going to start building our copper station today. Okay, let's see if we want to get in here, maybe. Yeah, we'll just like park here. That should be fine. And we'll block all the traffic for now, but that's not really that relevant. So I like this um, combo of chests and stuff like this. I see no reason to rebuild it at the moment. Um, yeah, I guess I should just, I'm going to copy the entire train station as well. Now I, I came up here because I didn't know if I had the whole thing and I do, I actually have the whole thing in radar coverage. So I'm going to grab the whole thing. Just take total advantage of the uh, this, the layout here. Okay, we need all of this stuff. Right. Ah, wow. And I wish you could zoom in on this thing because I'd like to get rid of quite a lot of stuff here. I really would. Uh, it would be nice. But I think we're going to have to leave it because I can't even see what I'm doing. All right, so let's keep this uh, for now. And I think we'll just put it down where we need it to go. Right, so let's get out of map mode and go back to our train. We are going to have to start feeding this from the trains. Uh, I don't know if we have, do we have something coming here? This is our, what is this called? Ah, uh, this is called a tree. Excuse me, tree. Right, you are iron AS. And let's see if we have this iron AS. <coughs> which still did not, okay, or pick up, or pick up, or pick up. Nothing dropping off. Well, that would prove a problem. I think we had our base station, the one getting all the extra little bits off, but this supply is not gonna last long because of this uh, deposit here. So I think we're gonna have to start getting some shuffled down there. There's already three trains waiting on me to move my train out the way. So let's, uh, please them and do so. Okay. <clears throat> I have an idea that I want it kind of nearby the green circuits area. So let's see if we can fit it in here reasonably well. I can remove the wall building station. That was my thought to get rid of this whole thing. Okay. So this is what? Why has this not? Oh, you know what I did? <laughs> Jeez. I put this stuff in an active provider and I drag the robot network all the way here, but I forgot to put this in the actual uh, logistics area. Okay. Silly me sometimes. It happens. It's okay though. Right. Um, let's look and see what we've got. This is all in radar coverage. Here's a green circuit area, and I don't think it's going to stretch too, mar too much further than this iron ore patch, hopefully. So let's see how this works. Uh, let's go to the map mode and zoom in-ish. Oh, this is not great. I really wish that you could zoom out farther with this stuff. Um, it is kind of a, a big blueprint. I think let's take out this track here. I'm gonna back up the train. There's nothing on that side right now. I think we'll be okay there. So let's take out this whole track business just to reduce confusion once we get the other things up. Oh, really? Huh. That ain't great. Um, yeah. Let's get this as well. Go away and take away these guys, these signals here. I think I'd like to put some stuff in my train for now, just so I can collect what the robots are giving me so I don't get screwed up. Um, and let's extend this that way so that the robots can pick up the stuff, which they're already en route to do. Right. This is the problem. Oh gosh. Can I in map mode? No, it's literally not any closer than uh, the other way around. This is not great. 
definitely not great. But on the other hand, if I align it with, say, the copper patch that I lost, there it is, I could put it like right here and we could actually draw from the copper patch. Yeah, that might be really good actually. All right, let's put this here then. All right, so I am sort of nearby-ish. All right, um, are we in map mode? No, we're in regular mode now. Okay, good. I want to let's see if we can back up this train just a little bit and get it kind of parked in this area here. Right, here we go. Um, basically, I didn't want there to be too many trains behind me because that would be slightly inconvenient. All right, guys, what do we need? We need uh, these. Yep. Get some of these guys in my inventory. Signals as well. Hey, bots, how you doing? Here, go ahead. Charge to your heart's content. It's interesting to me that they're, like, immediately slowed down. I don't know if they were trying to put stuff far away or what. What the issue was there. Quite odd, quite strange. For huge constructions like this, I'm literally thinking about maybe even adding more personal roboports because you can never have too many. That's how I feel about it anyway. Never have too many. And we're going to need lots of belts as well. So, um, oh, here, you can have the wood. Thanks. I'll take the belts. Wood and that stuff can go along. Right. Um, so... I also want to go up here and figure out this is the in ore station, in ore area. We don't definitely don't want those put down. I feel like we, we, we don't need these either. What we could do is actually turn around this entire corner um, and have it come from getting this copper patch down here. I, I, it isn't as close as I would like it, but it's it's getting there. It's okay. And the other thing I could do is, since we're fairly close to the robot network, it goes up here. I could just have the robots build a lot of this. I didn't even need this, especially for things like chests, which I don't always remember to bring enough of, and I don't think I brought enough this time either. Not for an allocation station, anyway. but at least we'll have some of the materials on us, which is kind of nice. Let's get these, all this stuff. And if the bots are gonna build this, I can focus um, building the, um, put this closer there. I can focus on building the mine, which also would be nice, because we are going to need a mine. The mine, the mine. Right. Um, so it looks like some of these spots are covered. Some of them are definitely not covered. Let's put this here. All the bots. Come on, bots. Come back home. It's okay, bots. You can do it. Oh my gosh. They're so slow. They drive me crazy sometimes. Yes, bots. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, and then here comes the whole herd of bots. All right, bots. I know that unless I pick you up, life will not be good. There we go. Pick them all up. Go in circle. Yeah, I really wish that the devs would remove this need to charge from bots. It just doesn't... It doesn't have fun gameplay in it at all. It's just not useful. Why are there so darn many of them? It just feels like there's millions. Unless I accidentally picked up some from the network as well. Maybe 16 of them. It's not a lot. Here, take take some extra bots. Have those. Please. Please do it. Uh, let's get this going on here. That Does that fit there? Not quite. <clears throat> I will, however, put this out here. Okay, that is getting more of this in coverage area. Okay, and we'll get 
that's connected up here. Yes, bots. Hi. Yeah, I know you're here. I know you're all there. It's okay. And then this part I can take care of myself. This uh, The railroad tracks, I think. I don't want to extend the bot network any further. But for all those fiddly bits like chests and things, I think it's fine to have the network construct them, uh, including this area, which I really should get covered. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Really bots. Now this is something that I don't understand. If they pick up something from my inventory, I'm assuming that they cannot get to their destination and place it down because they don't have enough charge to get there. But why don't they like pre-plan ahead? Like, aha, I should charge first before picking up the item for the next trip, you know? Maybe that's just too much. I don't know. Man, ugh. The whole charging um, thing is just silly to me. Okay, let's go and get some more railroad tracks because I've run out. I've run out of a lot of stuff, in fact. But we are getting this entire thing built. It requires a heck of a lot of stuff. It's 3,000 transport belts, 1.6K railroad tracks. I had no idea. That's a lot of railroad tracks. <clears throat> lots and lots of materials. Almost like half a thousand over half a thousand um, green inserters. I'm just take all of these. Um, do we need no we're good with those. Could use some of these power poles, uh, substations. I think we're good on those. Let's get some regular of these and a few more transport belts. And I also need more undergrounds. Wow, I took so we had the train full of undergrounds and then I took an extra 500 um, <laughs> from the network and it still isn't enough. I may have even had more than 500. I don't know. I had a lot. I took a bunch. I requested. No, I didn't request. I must have just taken them from the chest. All right, bots, let's go. Let's build stuff. It's time. Move along. But in any case, after we build this area, what we can do is start on the mining uh, and make sure that that's ready. I think I'll move the train over here. Okay, there we go. Thank you, bots. That's what we want. Perfect. I have plenty of chain signals. That's one thing I, I don't often think about because you rarely use them. So I'm glad we have enough. Come on, guys. Come on, bots. Can somebody fix this track here? Like, that does not work for me. Oh, it's the power pole that's preventing it. Okay. Oh boy, and <laughs> look what we have, like half a million power poles, which is not great. Uh, yeah. That's one thing I'll probably take out of the blueprint. Uh, yeah, because this is just ridiculous. It's just silly. There's too many power poles. It's kind of deleting every other one in hopes that that's the right one to delete. But it's okay. Take these out. Aha, and this is the wrong power pull as well. Can I please? No. There we go. Not that one, yeah, that's fine there. Too many signals over here. I don't know if that's from, the, I have to check the original station area so we make sure that that doesn't happen. Okay, I think let's move the train so that we can start building the outposts and the robots from the, the network should take care of the rest of this building project uh, while we work on the mine itself. This has been so much faster than in the past. I'm really excited about this actually. I thought it was going to take much, much longer to actually finish this area, but it's looking pretty darn good. Okay, let's dump our wood and stone in here because we definitely don't need it. And it looks like we're done with railroad tracks as well. I really need to redo my um, my things here. Uh, my, my cars so that they make a little bit more sense to me personally. Um, I don't know why I did them this way, but I did. And it doesn't work that well. Okay. 
Um, do we have any productivity modules? Probably not. No, we're still short. However, I do feel like, um, yeah, let's go get a productivity module to miner. Do I have, wait, I might have a blueprint for this already. Let's see. Mining, small compact red, mining productivity long. Yep. That's what we want. Uh, compact small. Okay. That's fine. That's, that'll work for me. That's exactly what I wanted. So basically whenever we come over here in the future, oh, there's iron, uh, there's copper up there too. What is this? 17 million, not a lot of copper, but it's something. It's uh, more than nothing, which is not saying that much, but it's okay. Right. Uh, blueprints, mining, productivity. Yes. Let's uh, make sure the belts are going right, the right way that we want them to. And we can start kind of uh, align them this way. Oopsies. Is that the right one? Oh dear. I've aligned it in a weird way, so I'm having trouble with this. All right, that should be fine, I think. Oh, I'm trapped. Okay, hey, that's fine. There we go. Okay, good. And I think what I'll do is I'll do a quick uh, redo of this just to kind of get this organized. We need a repetitions of three here. Oh, that's off alignment. Interesting. Okay, and get rid of these because these won't be in the picture anyway. There we go. And clunk those down like that. Perfect. That's what we wanted. So we need more undergrounds, more miners, and of course, plenty of productivity modules, which we definitely do not have at the moment. Okay. I don't know if we have any undergrounds. We'll see. We, we might. We might have some. Oh, here we have more belts, which I'll put back in the belt box in the belt container. We don't actually have any, do we? Well, I guess we'll have to go and grab some undergrounds then because that's going to be kind of preventing us from finishing the rest of this. We don't have any splitters either. Okay, let's take the train back to the base. Make sure we can get this sorted out. Okay, go to the base, please. And afterwards, we're going to basically join those things all up and uh, get this place storing some copper ore. I mean, there's plenty of other places we can draw copper from. There's 44 million there, which is a nice haul. 44 there, 55 there, and 34 there. So I'm kind of planning on, uh, wow, so why did I do this? Why does this wall not go that way? <laughs> oh my goodness. What was I thinking? Because we probably, I don't know if we have enough. With productivity modules, of course, the uh, throughput is going to be a lot slower. So we have to really think about this. Oh, this is where I requested 500. Okay, there we go. That's what we needed. Um, yeah, that's good. And we also need some more miners. Let me grab some from the box. From this box. Yeah, we'll take all those miners. Yeah, it definitely pays to recycle because... As you see, a lot of this stuff, um, we've, we're still running out of this stuff, basically. Uh, we have we have enough, but yeah, it's getting there. Um, right. Do we have any productivity modules? Probably not. I can start requesting them, however. Do, 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 do. Um, there we go. Let's request a hundred of them at a time. So anytime we want to walk by one of those places, then uh, we might we could probably do that. Basically, just walk by and have the robots put all that stuff in. Okay, so let's go to. Um, I'm gonna do this called. Oh, we didn't even name the place. No. Can I click here and name it? No, because we don't even have a stop there. Oh, this is not great. This is the good though. Okay, we're gonna call this one copper. Copper allocation station. Um, 
how did we call the uh, like or drop off yeah or drop off okay and we're gonna copy and paste that one okay so we're gonna just send our happy dapper train right there put it after the iron as we'll just have a copper as circuit condition and go so I don't have to drive myself, and so I don't risk chopping other trains in half, because it's not desired, it's not great. <clears throat> not great. Okay. But we're going to get there. We need more copper. So hopefully this will solve some of our copper problems. Um, I think next is going to be the smelters near... Um, near green circuits, which again, that's going to create a little bit of hardship on the system just because of, you know, how things are working. Uh, these guys would definitely need some co constant combinators. How many do we need? Several? Two. Okay. Two. I'm making five. Probably five is too many. Just thinking about it. Um, and I got splitters, but these, I guess, are ordered from the world? They must be. Okay, let's go down here and see if we can fill out some of this area here. Because so obviously we're missing stuff still. Okay, and then these guys, we can get rid of some of these uh, undergrounds there that are unproductive, or minimally productive, I guess you could say. Okay, there we are. We're getting stuff. Things are happening. That's great. Let's just trim off some of these little belts. The end there. Get this one, that one. So this is another reason you might end up with half an underground belt because I just can't be bothered to change that to a regular belt. So honestly, the whole thing about, oh my gosh, I have only, you know, 43 undergrounds instead of 44, that does not bother me in the least. Uh, because I'm regularly having those or to split off, you know, half a belt or something like that. Okay, so we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines. But I know they're not going to be full. So, hmm. let's see what we can do here with this. Do we have eight spaces? That's a big question. Um, we might. We might actually have eight spaces, which could be great. Two, three, oopsies. This is four. This be five, six. We do have eight spaces. Okay, seven and eight. We have to move here to avoid all of this there. Perfect. Now, oh well, almost perfect. Almost perfect. Let's get rid of these here for now. Okay, so this can be the eight coming from over there. Okay, these guys are, I don't even know what is going on here. I've kind of forgot what we did previously. Okay, and then I think what we're going to do is just grab these guys the whole sheaf of these and do this. Just do undergrounds to traverse the terrain. And we'll do this. Oh, whoa, what did I do? I meant to shift and I hit the, uh, the wrong thing. It's all good. All right, so uh, let me grab this. I'm gonna shift click all these so that we destroy the trees. That's super handy without having to to actually destroy them yourselves. Uh, whoa, okay, we're having a bit of a keyboard snafu. And let's get these guys set up here. Do, 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 do. We're gonna need probably another corner as well. Okay. And we are going to need probably something like an 8 to 8 balancer. Let's see what we've got in stock. Belt balancers, 8 to 8, probably at the end. There we are. Perfect. Right. Okay. Excellent. Get these guys sorted out this way. 
and then just kind of connect them up as we see here. Oopsies, here we go. I think we should have enough space. Yeah, there's plenty of space here. This is not a worry at all. Okay, come on. You can do it, brain. I have faith. No, my carefully laid plans. Right. Aha, we do have enough. Strictly speaking, however, there is no way that those um, these end ones are going to produce a whole belt of blue, uh, a fully compressed blue belt of um, of ore. But that's okay. We're not really necessarily looking for that. We just want to empty this fairly soon, I guess. And the idea behind that is to basically just get this sorted so that we can fully hook up the trains. Now what I want to do is, I think, let's just get grab the corner. So this is a left turn, big left turn, that can go here. Perfect. Nice. And I think we may have to manually do this corner. Let's just clear it of trees first. Just make sure that we can do this. Let's do a little bit at a time because otherwise we were, are going to just get caught on our own belts, I think. Okay. Make sure everything's flowing. Very, very nice. And I think we might be done. We're missing <clears throat> five chests, apparently. Let's set these guys. Oh, these are also not... Why are they not listed, though? Like, there's more than five chests missing, unless they're on their way. All right, let's check. change this. This is going to be um, copper ore, not iron. So as soon as these guys get placed, uh, that's going to change that. Okay, so here we go. We're mixing the ore. We're sending it out again. Ah, and now we have the problem of no coolness. And there's <laughs> this whole belt thing. Jeez Louise. All right, that's interesting. Yeah, well, it happens, right? Uh, now, how do we solve the problem of no coal? That's an interesting question. Uh, let's see. Do we have any coal around us? Oh, we do. We have some from down here. Um, yeah, I could ship the coal in. Oh, there's some there too. How tasty. That's quite nice. Yeah, I think we're going to just belt it in. And uh, yeah, we could send it by train, but... Uh, I just, it just kind of, it's just not, I, I would have to make an extra station. It's a lot of trouble, a lot of pain in the socks. My socks are not interested in that much pain today. Um, I'm going to take it from down here because uh, I, we're not going to be using this coal for much longer. I'm going to convert the steel to having electric furnaces. So let's put in, I don't know, let's give the most area we can on these miners. We don't need a lot, we just need enough. Let's put our power pole there. We'll run up and connect this. Get ready for running. Yay. And I'm just doing this because with expensive re recipes, it is much, much cheaper to run uh, underground belts instead of regular belts. Oops, I ran out of them. Okay. Let's go grab some. All right. And this is the other side of this coal belt. May have to run it from this side actually. Okay, 
but let's find, see if I have any more undergrounds. Yay, I have a million. That's good. That's what I wanted, is to have a million of these guys. I think I could run it right, oh, wow, why do I have this here? I don't know. It's not, not thinking properly, or, well, maybe there's a reason. Yeah, I know what the reason was. One of them was part of the blue, oh my gosh, we have a million of those guys. Right. Okay, yeah, and now we have a difficulty because of the... Eh, it's okay. No worries. We're not going to worry about this because it's not that important, to be honest. Okay, get robots to place that there. This one can go here. Just use a few of these guys. And this is basically going to be our area. So we've got to get rid of that signal. It's not a happy camper. Right. Um, let's grab this Sans Robo port and just kind of connect them along this way. I wish there was a way to like run these belts um, in a knot, uh, in, like you could auto reverse them, sort of thing. That's the idea. Like you wouldn't have to reverse them manually. I think that would be extremely handy gonna go here so we can go beyond the signal with our undergrounds do I have yes it gave me again the lovely roboport signal which is like really game why you do this why 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 right it's okay there we are so let's see are we connected to power do they just have coal no oh yeah they do do they? Yeah, they do. They actually have coal. Cool. Two miners is more than enough. There we go. We're filling up the fuel boxes. That's just perfect. Why is this not running? This is interesting. There's something... Ah, yes, we have this problem here. That's not ideal. It's good to check these things out and make sure there's nothing else interfering in these areas. Now, how is this stuff transferring? Oh, because I recently cut off the electricity. That's why. Okay, not a problem. We can get it back up again. And there we go. Okay, so we have now stuff from that copper patch. What, what we should look at, too, is how to get this stuff off these trains, really. Uh, what I could do... I could route these lines this way and basically disable one stop, like take this one out. That probably is going to be the best idea for now till we can get these other things sorted. Okay, so let's just do that this way then. Let's get this one going this way. Turn it that way, get this one going that way, and I feel like we're probably way out of time. Yes, this episode has gone on for way longer than I wanted it to, but that's okay. We're not we're not bothered because we enjoy playing Factorio, right? So there we are. Okay, and with that, I think uh, we'll end this episode. And in the next one, we're going to set up more uh influx into the system of copper and uh and get that sorted so thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time